Uh, hello YouTube. Today uh, I'm on, uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up an IFR flight on Flight Simulator X, and I'm also gonna show you how to use autopilot on Flight Simulator X. Okay. Well, first of all, you have to go to uh, Flight Planner. This is the free flight startup page on Flight Simulator X. So you click on Flight Planner, and then you have to go over and you have to click IFR. And then it'll switch it to IFR. And then you go up here and choose departure location. Uh, you click select. And then uh, let's just go with the first one there. And then you just pick one. Uh, you can pick any one you want. It has most airports. And then you choose uh, your destination to land. And I'm just going to pick another one, random one. And then you click uh, find route. You can also change it uh, between these. I usually use direct GPS. And then you can click find route. And it'll find your route. It'll give you a little map. Um, you can add waypoints if you want. But uh, you don't really need to. Uh, you can set up your uh, cruising altitude. Uh, you can put as high as you want. 10,000, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can add waypoints wherever you want, but you don't really need to. Uh, then you click OK. And uh, you have to save it. So it asks you to save it. Then you click Save. And it says, uh, Do you want Flight Simulator to move your aircraft to the departing airport listed on the flight plan? You do, or otherwise you'd have to fly there. So yes. And then uh, it's just like the regular free flight. You pick your uh, airplane, the weather, and stuff, and you already have your current location. It'll already put you at uh, Aberporth or wherever you want to take off. Uh, hello again. So now I'm in my flight, and you don't want to have to be uh, holding the control. Like You want to be able to have an autopilot, so they have that set up for you. So all you have to do, first of all, uh, you have to turn um, the... Uh, autopilot, uh, it says CNDA, you have to hit that first of all, and then uh, you set up all your like course and your direction and stuff, like uh, over here, uh, there's your heading, it's uh, 0 to 360, and then you have to hit uh, HDG set in order for it to activate it, and then there's your altitude, uh, and you click altitude hold and it'll hold and you just change it by uh, turning the little knob and then there's your vertical speed it'll automatically control your vertical speed if you have altitude hold switch on and there's your flight uh, and there's your uh, auto throttle arm you can have that on if you want auto throttle I do and uh, so you have to flip that and then you switch it with that little knob and you can put it into, uh, you click the speed, and then it'll hold uh, your speed. I have it set at 320. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate and subscribe.